Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I guess part two of the uh, hyper burning progression series. I just finished up some training. Um, I didn't really know how to start off this video, but I knew I wanted to get at least a few levels before <laughs> I recorded anything else. I did have some things recorded of me upgrading things, but I found that it wasn't really that interesting. And I'll just go through some of the stuff I've done in the meantime. But for the most part, um, I've just finished up about 30 minutes of training, um, or a bit more than 30 minutes, I suppose, to level up a few times here uh, since we last left off. And yeah, I think training the bishop so far has been pretty comfortable. Um, I realized that last part I forgot to use Urda Shower. So now that I actually have Urda Shower, I have two summons that I could use to train, which uh, is quite nice. Um, some of the things that I use to train, just real quick, of course, I have my Meso Drop gear, but I have to take out one of the items, uh, in this case my drop pendant, so then I can wear this uh, prepared pendant of the spirit. So we got this from the previous event and I didn't really use it so I just have one lying around in my storage and I have another one <laughs> somewhere expiring as well. So uh, yeah, I guess I just have prepared pendants for days. I also have the one they gave us from greetings event thing, so I have another 30 day pendant that I'll probably end up using at some point. But yeah, just a, <laughs> a lot of random pendants that I've been using. And speaking of random, I've also been using these uh, cubes I've been getting for my, my boss meals. I've been getting a lot of, uh, where are they? Master Craftsman's and uh, I've been using those to reroll some of my equipment. So it's a little update. I got my top to unique. I don't think this was unique before. I got my belt, my weapon and all the other things, all the things here, they're all in unique now. <laughs> they don't have real lines like you can see here. I just kind of just rolled them to try to tear them up and I'll worry about the lines later. But yeah, that's the um the update so far, my gear. I haven't really done much. I've just been tearing up random things with cubes to see if anything goes anywhere. And just wanted to show also my arcane force. It literally has not moved since the last uh, last part. It's actually been like a few days since I last recorded like the previous part and I didn't do any of my dailies. <laughs> I, I, I'm i telling you guys, I don't really like doing my dailies so I just haven't really been paying attention to it. Yeah, and I'm also kind of taking this character a little bit slow so I don't mind being a little bit inefficient regarding things like dailies. So anyway, uh, let's grab some of these cubes out. I've been just trying to keep my inventory clear nowadays or my storage clear. So then I can try um, find some good uses for this. Oh, I actually have some nodes expiring. So let's quickly open these up. Okay, nice. So those I think were expiring nodes from the previous event as well. And speaking of events, I don't think I've coin capped. Nope, let's uh, just grab the rest of these coins. And I think I can use these to trade in. So the main reason why I've been leveling up is because I at least want to hit to 220 before the end of the week. I know I have some friends who are Happy to trade hard lucid with me, so yeah, I'm trying to rush to 220 as fast as possible, so then at least I can. Yep, looks like I have enough. I can take a hard lucid run. With the hard lucid run, I have a chance of getting arcane boxes. So these armors and weapons are basically the best in slot items you can use, and I'll be hoping for a weapon box. I think the weapon will be the biggest gain, so we're just hoping for either one of these. So I'll probably end up recording us running it at some point. I'm also hoping to get a Twilight Mark as well, depending on who else is in the party. If nobody else needs one, I'm happy to snag one as well. Uh, another thing I'm also hoping for this week regarding bosses is to get a Guardian Angel Ring. I also have somebody I'm willing to trade um, Guardian Slime with. And I think that will be a nice uh, like head start on the damage gear. Uh, which I guess I can talk a little bit about right now. I've just been using my drop gear like I've mentioned and for I guess my damage set for the rings it's probably going to be the superior ring, the guardian angel ring, um, a new kind of ring so I have one for drop meso at the moment but I can start hoarding them and trying to get those to, uh, to become damage gear and what would be the last ring? I haven't really thought about what the last ring would be. Now I'll worry about it another time. It's probably going to end up being like a Meister Ring or something. I'll probably have to end up getting Meister Crafting. Uh, but yeah, uh, those are like the main things, I guess, for accessories. 
I've got a black bean mark as well, so this will probably end up being my damage gear. So I guess let's try see if we can tear this up to unique. I've just been throwing my spec cubes at it. It's always on camera, guys. I, I promise you, it's just on camera. <laughs> um, okay, that, that's that's nice and free unique. Thanks, I guess. Uh, I can use these solid cubes on this cape. See if we can get like at least one line of in. Oh, there we go. Oh, seven percent all stat. Um, I guess I should quickly talk about like my gear because I am using Absolab at the moment, but I will be getting carried in hard lucid and eventually hard will and all those bosses onwards. So I don't want to like invest too much on my Absolab in hopes of getting arcane weapons and arcane equips. It's a pretty high ask, obviously, but at the same time, I don't think that I need to rush making really good Abso gear. And I guess whatever happens, happens. I'm not too fussed about it. I think the gear will be good enough for me to progress with uh, for the time being. So yeah, I'm just going to leave them as is. Uh, regarding some of the Star Forcible items, I am planning on trying to uh, get some really nice stars going for my uh, Sira pieces. Uh, eventually trying to get them to 21, but that'll, that'll take some time. So yeah, we'll, we'll see um, what happens when we get there. I'm not really sure how long I've been rambling on for, so uh, let's do something a little bit more interesting. Um, I just hit the 220, so let's get some of the uh, some of the cutscenes over and done with. Of course, I have a very messy inventory. Let's uh, chuck some things out so then we can go through some of our cutscenes and prequests for the new areas. I heard the Latchlan Weekly is a little bit more annoying compared to Dream Defender. And that's a kind of a... It's not great because Dream Defender, I thought, already was kind of boring. <laughs> so having a, a mini game that's a bit worse than Dream Defender is a little bit concerning, but uh, I'll check it out when I only have to do it once. And uh, yeah, after this, I think eventually I do want to push for 225 because then I can go back for Choo Choo as well. I know I should realistically be doing these uh, weeklies and dailies every day, but again, it's just a lot of things to do on a character and I have plenty of time to get this character strong. My main concern right now is just, uh, I guess, leveling and slowly work on his gear, because I think that's more fun. Like, uh, dailies are good gains and all with arcane symbols, but they're very repetitive, so I'm not going to worry too much about those. Okay, with Latchlan unlocked, I should have a new symbol. And also, I believe I get some stuff for hyper burning. Oh, I actually get stuff for 215. 215 for 50 nodes, that's nice. And, ooh, we get some some boxes, so let's grab this arcane symbol first. Very good. And between these two, I don't really need either of them. I don't think these are transferable either, right? I'll take the Abso weapon, I suppose. Grab the staff. Let's see if it's any better than mine. Oh, it's still kind of worse than my current one. Because I guess my current one has a proper flame and somewhat of a proper potential. Uh, so yeah, that's okay. We're not too fussed about the um, the free things at the moment because this character is quite well prepped. And we got 50 node stones. This, uh, that's a decent amount of node stones. Let's open these up real quick. Now, thankfully for the hyper burning, they give us quite a lot of node stones, I think. I think they give you like 300 node stones all up. Um, which is a pretty nice head start for a character, and I've already put a fair amount on my character as is, so I'll take any extra ones, because I'm trying to hoard my node stones wherever I can, mostly because we do have the um, jet job change coming up soon, so in case I don't have node stones for that, I'd rather keep mine. We get one free one from Latchlan. And... Let's check the V Matrix. Ooh, it opens up a lot of extra... A lot of extra space. That's one of the nice things about um, leveling up a character. You get a lot of node space. And a lot of node space means we can put more things that either help us train or help us boss. And both are very, very handy. Um, I, I won't worry too much about it. I guess I'll just, I'll just chuck some stuff in just to fill up the space. And let's uh, merge some nodes together. So I'm just going to go through all the ones that I, I know I need. I'm just going to enhance all of them. And 
yeah, I'll just see you guys in a bit. I'm just going to condense all my nodes and then disassemble the ones I don't need. There we go. Cleaned up our nodes quite nicely. That's sorted. I think I do need to do one more thing. I have to do Yum Yum Island because I realized I skipped that. Let's uh, skip Yum Yum. I know it's, I'm technically meant to do Yum Yum first and then Latchland, but we leveled up kind of at the same time. Thanks to the uh, the event ticket thing, the ticket coupon. I'm not really sure what to call it. So anyway, um, let's just drop some of these items here. So we can make some space for these symbols. Again, I think I'm just going to chuck them into Latchlan. And now we have 350 Arcane Force. That's pretty nice. Uh, it's a little bit more than you would expect. Because I have the title on. And I think my hypers might be set to Arcane Force. Um... I think I did this when I was trying to do the level 200 quest uh, back when I was doing the fifth job. So <laughs> that just made it easier to go through some of the some of the things. But now I guess it doesn't really matter. Eventually I will probably reset that to have um, proper hypers for training. And uh, yeah, I think that's more or less it. I realize now I probably should have just sold the pencil here stuff, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I guess that's like the main update is just getting the levels up so then I can get carried in a uh, hard lotus. No, not hard lotus, sorry, hard lucid. So hopefully I can get some arcane drops this week. So uh, when I get that run, I'll, I'll make sure to record it so you guys can see it as well. And the next thing I need to do, I guess, is to fix some of my potentials. Some of these potentials are non-existent, I guess. <laughs> these pants are quite non-existent. Uh, I do have a lot of things in Unique, but we are getting random double miracle times where we can get double the chances of tearing up for different weapons and different equipments. So I'm taking my time with the potentials. Otherwise, I would probably try to push some of the gear to have uh, proper potentials. But for now, yeah, let's uh, let's try to fix these pants. Maybe I'll buy some cubes and see where that leads us. Uh, so I'm just going to put them on my pants because they don't even have one line of stat on them. Um, I'm happy to re-roll until I see, like, at least 15%, because that shouldn't be too expensive. I'm saying shouldn't with my fingers crossed, because I know some some items can just be randomly difficult to get potentials. So, yeah. Ideally, I will get uh, 21, so 12 and 9%. That would be ideal. Uh, assuming, of course, like we don't get, like, a 3-line or something crazy like that. And yeah, I'm pretty happy just spending random bits of money because while I train, like I said, because of my meso gear, I actually do get a decent amount of money. Um, I probably should have showed it before, but before I started training, I was on like 350 mil. And then once I started training uh, and finished like half an hour, I made like 150 or so mil, which is all right. Um, not bad for just being in, in Latchland. Or rather, um, in Choo Choo. So the character does kind of fund itself back. And I'm not too fussed spending a little bit of money to make it uh, at least a little bit useful in Lucid. Because when you're getting carried, the least you can do is try to be useful to your party. And I guess with Bishop, because I have Benediction, the extra stat will maybe make a difference. I'm not, I'm not too sure how Benediction works. Because I know there's like thresholds for stats and stuff. But yeah, I don't know about my class too much. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully we hit like uh, a decent line soon. I remember running. Oh, there we go. 18%. That's uh, more than enough for now. Um, 15%. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the pots on this character for now. Uh, anyway, I think that'll be all for this particular session. So I'm going to cut over to when I run Lucid, I guess. Or maybe I'll go train. Uh, we'll see what happens. So... And yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I can't wait for all the comments like that. This guy's getting carried by a liberated night a lot. It's not carried, it's a trade. Come on, get it right. I can't follow the series anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be double snowman. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, shadow oh, part now. <laughs> oh, look at the boys. I think I might actually have a red. Oh, wait, wait no, Wafflop has a red one. I'm just hoping for a Twilight Mark and a Slime Ring today, yeah? Sounds good.
Okay. I think that's everything. All right, let's go. Let's get it. And yeah. Fighting. Oh, look at the ones. Let's go. <laughs> I got the blue. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> you died and lost door. <laughs> oh, fine. Check out this damage. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Where you at? Where you at? I'm bishop. I'm bishop. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at the synchronized simping. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> I need to go into purple or green. Okay, that should go straight into purple. I think he did like 25 Wait, to 30% okay. before. He's just gonna die. It, gonna it, it, it should die, yeah. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, Ooh. and I can give you real HS. All right, let's see it. Let's see Frosty the Snowman get a get a slime ring here. You gotta get the ring for the YouTube video. <laughs> oh, for the YouTube video. Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> so that's one of the one of the rings. Very nice. Oh yeah. Twilight Mark. Twilight Mark next. That's what it's gonna be. Miss P one day, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> well, if we miss it, you bind it. Jesus. No, I bind it. Me too. Uh. Oh, let's get it. Golden dome of greatness. Don't worry, I heal you, bro. So many cats everywhere. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that P one. Can you, you actually can. see my dome? I can't see it. I can see. It. I can. Oh, look at the movement. Whoa, look at wow. the movement. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> why, why did I follow this? Oh it... my god, look at this movement. Oh my god, what, what am I doing? It looks so funny on my screen, these two snowmen like having similar animations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can do it in one verse, okay. okay easy. I'm about to see four set thorn boss right here. Dude, if you get me a double drop though, imagine. Imagine. My entire comment section is gonna light me on fire. Dude, if, if all three it. drop, I'm actually just gonna delete good my luck, character. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Oh! Oh, Twilight Mark. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you get anything? <laughs> no, I didn't get a weapon, no. no. Thank you. Oh yeah, 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 what the <laughs> <laughs> There was a lot of things. <laughs> there was a lot of things under the toilet mark. <laughs> right, thank you, Mr. Big Carry. For double dawn boss. Very nice. So uh that was a pretty eventful um <laughs> Lucid and Sea Slimes. Pretty good. Uh, I did not expect to get both of the drops. I think between the two, I feel like the slime ring is like reasonably common from Chaos Slime and the Twilight Mark maybe not so much. I think the hardest part about the Twilight Mark is typically speaking if you were in a party you had to split the loot between six people which can be pretty difficult but thankfully I have some wonderful friends who are willing to uh, donate me their Twilight Marks. I probably won't be taking any more of their Twilight Marks for the time being because I don't see myself pushing it past 17 anytime soon. Uh, same thing with the Guardian Slime ring but we'll just see what happens uh, regarding this. Of course, I will be trading with my friends, so I don't think that I'm just getting straight carried. I will be trading with them, and I give them things as well. I got really confused. I thought I leveled up. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's do some quick upgrades. I have some flames in my storage I can use. And we can throw them on the Twilight Mark. Now, for the Twilight Mark, we're probably looking for something around like 60 and 5 roundabout it's like roughly what you'd expect for Sierra as well so let's give it a go I'll start with the rainbows first from I think it was from a previous event don't really know where I got these rainbow flames from but they uh, also come from a lot of my bossing mules so getting some free rolls on our twilight mark let's see if we get anything good I'm recording, so surely I get something good, right? That's how it usually works. 
Seeing a lot of um, good flat stat, but not with all stat. I'm not too fussed if it doesn't hit anyway, because I can always throw just random flames on it. And looks like for now, I won't be using it. But that's fine, I'm not, I'm not in a rush for damage gear, just having the equipment is good enough. And with both of these, this will give me the two set, or the Dawn boss set, for 10% uh, boss damage, which is pretty good gains. And I think that will probably be it, honestly. I didn't really have much planned for this part. I just wanted to get to 220 and then uh, go for Lucid. That way I had a chance of getting the Arcane uh, drops. Um, no weapon today, but we do get... Oh, we got three droplets actually, so that's pretty good. Uh, making our way up to um, build this up so that we can buy the armors if needed. Uh, ideally, I don't want to buy uh, the weapon if I can help it, mostly because the weapon is like twice as expensive as the armors. Yeah, 24 coins as opposed to, I think, 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so realistically, I'm going to be sticking with the Absolab gear for quite a while. So I will be Star Forcing these up to 16 star um, once we get the Shining Star Force event. And then from there, I'll probably just wait for the Arcanes. Um, whether I get drops or I'll just have to buy them from um, from the shop. Uh, the hard part, I guess, would also be getting the actual droplets, but uh, we'll get them as we farm, so that's not a big deal. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in for this kind of weird roundabout part <laughs> that we didn't really do much in, but I, I think we got some pretty good gains. Like, these two drops are very nice. Uh, 220, now that we're in Latchland, our training rates should be a lot better because uh, Latchland's base EXP is much higher than the ones in Yum Yum and Choo Choo, so this will be quite nice. And we've unlocked more dailies that I won't do. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be our arcane force for quite a while. We'll see if I can motivate myself to um, actually do the dailies, but yeah, no promises on that. Anyway, I think that is it for now. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next part. You know, honestly, the, the real YouTube video is if um, we did this trade for slime, uh, only for you to not get the slime ring. Yep. <laughs> you know, honestly, the, the real YouTube video is if um, we did this trade for slime, uh, only for you to not get the slime ring. All right. Drop coupon. Good luck. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh god, I killed him. Every time. <laughs> I do get a little bit of anxiety. I'm a little bit traumatized. I haven't got you anywhere as close as many slime rings. Yeah, you can take the pot, it's fine. But yeah, All right, let's see. Upholding my end of the deal, guys. I'm not boosted. I'm just <clears throat> I'm just trading, you know. One the one of many weeks where we're even. <laughs> <laughs> one of very few weeks, you mean. <laughs>